Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming my MAC lipstick swatches video. I don't have a lot, I just have two, four, six, eight MAC lipsticks. Oh, actually lies, I have nine. Nine MAC lipsticks. Uh, reason for that is I just stopped wearing MAC lipsticks and I just haven't been buying any. Um, I'm more of a liquid lipstick kind of person. So if you're like me, NC40 and MAC Studio Fix, now, Syracuse, Estee Lauder, shade Cashew. I really, I always find that knowing a person's shade references in different foundations really helps um, because that's honestly the first thing that I do when I find someone who I think might be a similar skin tone. I'm always like, oh my gosh, what shade is she in Mac Studio Fix? So I'm always trying to include that in favor one. I'll probably start putting that in my description box as well because I find that it's really helpful. I filmed a tutorial on this look. It's my day to night Valentine's Day makeup. Just like a quick look where I went from like my, my everyday makeup to this. On my eyes is just the Naked 3 palette. On my lips is Essence Lip Liner in Honey Berry and Huda Beauty's Flirt Liquid Matte Lipstick. And that's about it. So if you guys want to see swatches of the MAC liquid lipsticks on me, then keep watching. The color I'm wearing on my lips is not the MAC, any of these MAC ones, okay? I thought I'd film an intro while I still look semi-decent with my lips. I decided to just blank out my lips this time. The first color I'm going to use is Velvet Teddy by MAC. Now, this is a very well-known nude lip color for medium skin tones. Personally, I don't like it on its own on myself because I feel like it makes me look kind of dead. Kind of like my lips now. It is a pretty nude. Like, I've seen this on Who Wears It A Lot, Brittany Lee Saunders. It looks amazing on her. And this is a matte formula. Do you see how nude it looks on me? And that's pretty much what it looks like away from the studio lights. I mean, it does look alright, but I would probably wear it with like a lip liner around the edges because my lips just seem to like blend into my face. It is a pretty color, but I probably wouldn't wear it on its own because it just doesn't look that good on its own on my lips my skin tone. So yeah, so once again, that's Velvet Teddy. Next up we have Twig, which is another well-known lip color for medium skin tones. I do really like this. It is a pretty color. It's more of a pink, pinkier nude. If someone that was a lighter skin tone looked at this and like, that's not a nude, but see, if you're medium skin tone, it's a nude for us. And this is a satin finish. So satin finish is a lot, a lot more moisturizing on the lips. Mattes are really, they're a bit drying. Um, actually the Velvet Teddy one, I feel like isn't as drying as my Ruby Woo, which I'll show you later. Like Ruby Woo, I feel like it kind of pulls along my lips, but um, I still really like wearing it. That's what twig looks like on me. It's really uh, moisturizing. I feel like it kind of hydrates your lips a little bit. Like it doesn't feel like... Sometimes with like matte liquid lipsticks, I feel like the inner part of my lips get really dry. And if, you, if you're prone to dry lips, then it will kind of sink into those lines. Whereas satin ones, I feel like if you just um, press your lips together like this, then you can kind of move the product along and just blend it. In if you've been wearing it for a while it is quite comfortable but at the same time you would have to reapply it during the day but once again that's twig next up we have a pro longwear lip cream in the shade unlimited this is just what it looks like it's more of a berry pink shade but it's pro longwear so I guess they're long-lasting and they say what finish it is that oh, it's a lip cream I'm not really sure about the lip cream formulas but It's really easy to apply. It's very creamy. It looks kind of, well, it looks kind of streaky on me. I think it's because my natural lips are so much darker. Personally, I would wear a lip liner with it because I feel like it's not that opaque. I'm also not really a fan of these kind of warm pinks. But yeah, anyways, so once again, this is unlimited. Next up, we have the shade Captive. I would say it's like a berry shade, but... It's got some plum in it. I bought this because I saw it on someone else and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get it. And that's a satin as well. I think I have the formulas that I like seem to be ca um, captive, seem to be satins and mattes. Like I'll have some mattes coming up later. Days, 
It's very pigmented. I really like this color. Yeah, it's the same formula as Twig. It's set in, it's really moisturizing. If I blotted it away, I would probably be more inclined to wear it because it kind of settles a bit better. So yeah, I do really like this color. But yeah, once again, this is Captive. So next up, we have Flat Out Fabulous. This is a retro matte. I forgot what that means. I think, is that more drier than a matte? Maybe. So this is a bold fuchsia pink color. Did I buy this or my sister got it for me? I'm not sure. Maybe my sister got it for me. I feel like the mattes are a lot easier to apply for me because my studio lights are on and they've probably been melting them. This is flat out fabulous. Bit of a messy application, but I would probably use a lip liner so I can clean up around the edges. It just looks like a very fluoro fuchsia pink and it looks really nice on medium skin tones because it's a big, it's a big, it's a strong contrast between the brown skin so I really do like it um, and it's just like a fun color that you can play around with so yeah I feel like personally for me I don't think my lips are that dry right now so it is, it's not really hydrating but it's not too drying you know what I mean so Maybe that's also because my lipsticks are in a warm area and I mean as you can tell it looks real shiny but it's easy to apply because they are quite warm. Once again, this is flat out fabulous. Next up we have the shade All Fired Up Ooh. and this is a richer matte as well. It's kind of like a red but with some coral and it's also very vibrant. My camera stopped filming. Great. So as you can tell, um, it's not really a red. It's more of a red mixed with pink. So it's quite a vibrant color and it's kind of corally as well. I think probably all of the like the last three that I've got are my favorites because it really pops against your skin tone and it's a really nice um, bright lip color to wear for like spring or summer. Um, I think I do have like a spring tutorial up on my channel where I use this lip color which was really nice and it's really like glowy, fresh faced with a pop of color on the lips. So yeah, I do really like the shade. It's the same formula as before, a retro matte finish and it's not drying at all for me personally. Once again, that is all fired up. I think my lipsticks are, yeah, like melting, like they will actually come up. So don't store them upside down, like don't store them like this, store them like this. So hopefully you don't have the same problem as me. So next up we have Ruby Woo, which is like the one everyone knows, that bright red. This is one of my favorite reds. And this is a matte finish. But yeah, usually Ruby Woo feels like it's um, pulling against my lip, but because I think it's warmed up, it should be okay. So yeah, that's Ruby Woo. Um, really messy application. I found with this red, you really have to line your lips with a red lip liner. And then you also have to use concealer to clean up around the edges. So keep that in mind. But oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful red. It makes your teeth look white, even though my teeth kind of look yellow right now. It's one of those beautiful reds that I feel like would suit a lot of different skin tones. I feel like this would look really nice and just like with a um, classic winged eyeliner and like, lots of lashes but yeah it's one of my favorite reds and it's not even it's not that hard to wear you just kind of have to be aware be aware just be careful not to touch your lips um you could even blot it you apply some translucent powder to make it last longer but, like even blotting it didn't take away that much and then you could just wear it so one of my favorite reds and yeah once again that's ruby woo two more to go next up we have rebel which i'm sure you guys know it's like a beautiful berry purple it's just a beautiful purple shade it's a satin finish super pigmented That's Rebel. Um, it's a satin finish. You can tell there's a sheen to it. It can move around. Um, it's very moisturizing, very smooth, and it's one of my favorite colors. I don't know why. I just have like, there's a spot in my heart for the berry purples and just purple in general. So you can kind of soften it out. 
and just have it kind of looking like a lip stain which is really cute and I find MAC lipsticks are really easy to reapply or top up so yeah once again that's Rebel the last one that I'm going to show you guys is called Diva and it's a matte and it's like a brownish red it's just a gorgeous color oh, look at that just look at that This is Diva. It's a matte, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's a matte as well because like I said, my lipsticks have been out near the heat of my studio light so they're a lot warmer than usual so they just kind of glide right on. It's one of my favorite colors. I think it would look really nice with gold, like lots of gold makeup and winged eyeliner and it look beautiful. So once again, this is Diva. So that's the end of the video. I know you guys love lip swatches and I really want to do more and more lip swatches on my channel but oh my gosh, you guys. Liquid lipsticks are expensive. Like, I need to get me some Kat Von D, Anastasia, Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. I need to do some... Who else do I want to do? I think those are like my main ones. Um, I want to do Ofra. I want to do Urban Decay. I want to do Smashbox. Like, there's so many I want to do. I'm going to try, hopefully, get some done like once in a while. If it was up to me, I would just buy everything, you guys, and just film liquid lipstick swatches or just lipstick swatches because I know how much you guys love them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any other requests then leave them down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because it really means a lot to me and you can stay up to date with my uploads. And that's about it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! I feel like I need to put some concealer. Where is cool tan? Where is cool tan? Where is cool tan when I need it? Ooh, cute. Subscribe to my channel. Ugh. Let's just do this. I'm gonna have to do tonight. Really? I'm gonna put my hand on. I think I'll probably show it to my hand. You know what? <laughs>